So here's a quick way to use ChatGPT without worrying about getting penalized by Google, without having to worry about maybe copying someone else's content or someone's proprietary idea. And I found that if you run PPC campaigns uh, using ChatGPT, it speeds up the process a great deal. You don't need to hire a copywriter to do a lot of the headlines and to do the description and to do all of that. And you can rapidly run multiple uh, A and B tests uh, with PPC without having to worry about, you know, just coming up with ideas and coming up with stuff. And so I was able to create a PPC campaign with over 50 ads, 50 different ads, uh, split testing them across, uh, you know, various keywords and accounts. And what I was able to do was to find within a week the best performing ads and then just had those running and turned off all the other ads. And here is how I did it. So before I get into it, uh, feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have a question. So, and so I also do SEO for a living, by the way, and there is a link in the description. You click the link from the forum and I will get in touch with you. So the first thing is, is we're going to create ads for A-B testing uh, with Google uh, for Google AdWords. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create two Google ads in RSA format uh, using multiple headlines and descriptions for an A-B test for ABC HVAX. So ABC HVAX, you can just switch that out with whatever company you're trying to create AdWords for and then explain why the ads would work, would make a good test so or would work best. So what you're seeing here is ChatGPT is producing not only these headlines, but it's also producing a description. So add one. So what you can do is for add one, it's, it's got these three headlines that you can test. For add two, it's got these three more headlines that you can test. And you can use the same description or you can ask ChatGPT to generate variations of this description. Uh, and if you do this for long enough, if you don't change up the prompts, uh, you have got to run into the same kind of content. And that's a problem with ChatGPT, is that if you do something, if you ask it to do something for long enough, it will start repeating itself. And so you need to be very careful with this. And if too many people use this method and they don't change up the prompts and they don't ask for variations, uh, a lot of you people are going to be running the same kind of ads. So obviously this needs human input. Um, so make sure that you're reading your ads and you're correcting any issues that you see uh, with the descriptions or even with the uh, headline. So the next prompt is prompt number two. And I need to create some responsive display ads for a Google Ads campaign. Uh, so please suggest images, headlines, and descriptions for a HVAC company. Uh, and you can also use lyrics Pun, uh, are acceptable. So not only did ChatGPT recommend a few compelling ideas for product shots and ad copy, but also came up with this line. The, the fourth prompt is you can ask it to rewrite your headlines. And so, you know, that explains unique value proposition. It also includes the phrase, keyword phrase. So what I like to do is I like to say, rewrite this headline, make it more compelling and paste the headline. And when it's when it generates that headline, I ask it to you know give me four variations of this. And with each variation, make it more compelling, make it more about the user, make it more about uh, how the product will help the user and you know how it will make the user feel. And so by giving by adding this to the pro to these prompts, what I'm doing is I'm enhancing the way these headlines uh, are generated and I'm also adding uniqueness to these headlines and so there's a real low probability that there's someone who's generating these headlines for this same client or this same industry and using these same prompts. So make sure that you keep this in mind when you're generating these prompts. This is a very interesting prompt and I'd like to ask ChatGPT that if we are going to run ads for uh, ABC HVAC company uh, on Google Displays Net, on Google Display Network, what type of sites and channels would I target? And so, if I ask it this, it'll give me this whole list of websites uh, that I can target. 
And even though it's a little hit and miss, but it's a good place to start. So I thought you guys would, uh, you know, would would appreciate something like that because it, it really cuts down the amount of work that you would otherwise have to do. And then you can also do, you can also use ChatGPT for competitor research. So you can say, comp create a list of competitors of, you know, just insert the name of your company. In my case, it's AAA HY company and the estimated monthly search spend. So what this does is it, it creates, uh, it answers this in the best possible way. Again, this is hit and miss depending on your industry, but the data is there and, you know, take it for what it is. And you can also ask it to, you know, create a list of competitors, the locations, their headquarters, the size of the company, and whether they are direct or indirect competitors, please compile the list in table. So what this does is also it creates a list of all the companies that are competing with your client's company or even competing with your company. And so this will help you, you know, also, you know, figure out what your competitor is doing. So you can dig into your competitor's PPC uh, strategy and you can use that to your advantage. I'll go into how to dig into your competitor's PPC strategy in the next video. But, you know, suffice to say that we're only uh, using ChatGPT here. So using ChatGPT for to run a, a PPC campaign is, is a lot easier than trying to figure out all of this yourself and coming up with headlines and description. Again, but the, the caveat here is that you need to be very careful of what you ask ChatGPT to do and how you ask it to do it because you can run into issues if you just write a short prompt because then anyone can do that. So make sure it's as descriptive as possible so that ChatGPT uh, comes up with something that's really unique and something that has a very low probability of being replicated. And so guys, if you like the video, like and subscribe. I have another video coming up on PPC advertising. Also check out my video on uh, the best chat GPT detection tool out there. Uh, if you're writing content, this is uh, something that you should be doing. You should make sure that if you're using chat GPT or you're using other, any other AI content generator that it's, uh, it doesn't, it does not show up as being AI generated because it's now becoming a little easier to detect AI content. And so, especially with long form content. And so make sure to check out the video over here. And as always, I, I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you in the next video.